Hello, I'm making a little captain of industry video, a little tutorial video. I just got trains working and it's not easy <laughs> to figure out because I couldn't find too much online. Nobody has a video on this yet as of, you know, today, May 15th, 2025, and it just came out. So I was bumping my head against the wall for about an hour. If you look at my status, I've got alerts and alarms and all kinds of junk that I've got to correct on this map. But right now, what we're looking at is the trains. I've just got a simple little setup here with rocks, uh, moving them back and forth from one side of the map to the other. And what you'll see now is I've just loaded and now I'm taking it across and getting it to unload. There are a few things that uh, you know, it took me a while to figure out if you're stuck, maybe this will speed things up for you. Now, as we go along, you've got to make these crossing points. And I'll show you one of those, well, in just a moment, how to get that got going. But the, the depots are what were throwing me. Basically, what you have to do well, you got the depot. That's where your trains are made. The stations are what get me. And we will get to that in just a moment. So I can pause on it. All right. I will pause now. So what we've got is just a simple four car train. You've got the engine and the uh, little fuel car. This is just a steam train. So you've got to set up a steam unit, a steam fuel module. You got to supply it with water and coal. And that gets to be placed, you know, here. The next thing you have to do is you've got to get the train station itself. And then you've got to get modules. And they can be set to load or unload. And when you hit it on load, you know, you see the green arrows, like put it in here, but we want to be on unload on this side, so take it out here. And then the other thing you need to do, this is what stuck me, is I had to extend the track a little bit. I've got it ramped up. Not sure why, it's just the way it laid out, but you just have to have enough track on the other side. It was coming to this part and it just wasn't unloading. And I did not have enough track. I had to extend the track past the end of this little building. It doesn't seem to be going there, but until I did that, it was uh, giving me a little notice up here uh, that there was a problem and I needed to extend the track. Once I did that, things started to unload and load. So it uh, it is simple to set up and it works once you know what you're doing. But that first time, uh, it could take you a few minutes to figure out why things aren't working the way they should. So this is a uh, four car train and I guess you can get tons of cars, you, like it's unlimited, but I believe you would have to set up the station kind of like our ships. I don't have any ships on this yet because I was just stampeding towards trains to uh, try them out. But you've got an, a module. If you look in the buildings, you've got different kind of tracks here at the bottom. The only thing I've done so far is normal tracks. I haven't done any pillars or these other zones yet. And then here are the buildings. You've got the train depot, which you'll see here. This is where you build the trains and I move mine off to the side. It kind of along the lines of uh, the uh, transport tycoon, I think. I can't remember the name of the game, but there's one where you can, you know, you build your depots and you have to have a line that goes to it. You've got a depot extension I haven't messed with. Now you've got the units, loose and fluid modules. And then they've given you a little placeholder module so that uh, you know you could use it as a decoration or to hold on to until you've got uh, things figured out. Steam or fluid if you've got a diesel train and this is for your steam train. And then you've got the train station on each side of your route, you need to have a station. On this one, I've got it placed second. 
on the first station. I have it placed over here first. I didn't put a fuel station on this side because, you know, I wasn't sure what I was doing. And that's left over from the first time I tried to set this up correctly, and I did not. And uh, then the next thing we've got are the crossings. Now what you have here, I've made very simple crossings. You've got the uh, entrance to the crossing, you've got small or large, and I've just figured I'd just make large. And then you've got the crossing itself, and then you've got a uh, level crossing connector, an elevated road that connects neighboring level crossings. I have not fiddled with that yet. So what you've got here is, this is the crossing itself in the center. And then on either side of it, you've got to have an entrance. So it's like a, a bridge. You've got a start and an end and then the middle. We'll put in another one just to, uh, to demonstrate what we're doing here. I'll go ahead and put it here. So I'm going to pick the large one. The first thing I'm putting in is the crossing itself. And uh, that's another thing. If you've got a train on the track, then you're a no-go. So to make any changes to this, you got to send the train back to the depot. So let's do that. We'll hit recover and pause. And that puts the train back in the depot automatically. And you can see it down here at the bottom. The next thing we're going to do is go back and we're going to work on our little crossing. So the crossing itself, we're going to put here. And then an elevated road that connects neighboring level crossings. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, maybe that's uh, if you've got two trains side by side. Okay, that, but that's it. If I had a track here, I would have a crossing. And here's a crossing. And then this would go between those crossings. Uh, because a crossing has to have a start and an end. So put this one here and then rotate this one here and then I'll bring it back so now we've got our start middle and end once that's done we can go back to our depot and what we'd done is when we sent it back, we told it to uh, go there and pause. We should be able to just hit unpause and you can see the steam and now it's starting out on its track again. So let's follow it along. And, uh, you know, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming. All right, we're gonna travel over here and pick up our rocks. And my plan with this is just to test it with rocks because, you know, I had this fleet, basically, you know, fleet of loaders terraforming over here. And we've gotten this edge flattened out. So what I'm hoping to do is, you know, you see the trains filling, move the rock over to the other side of the island and then start terraforming that side to give it a straight edge. So if I'm lucky when this is all done i will basically have a nice smooth edged square of an island these islands being much bigger now with the new update love it you can see our train cars are loading up once they're all at 120 i'm not sure why they are seem to be loading and unloading make sure you've got these so that we don't we're not exporting we cannot export cannot export cannot export I want to make sure they're not swiping swiper no swiping I want 
the rocks to come in. I don't want the rocks to leave, except on the train. So now if we go back to our train, hopefully this thing will load up. All right, look at that. This time it looks like it actually filled. I wonder if it was uh, having an issue because of the fill level of the receiving station. I will do more videos when I find out more. But hopefully this is uh, a little helpful if you're like me and uh, unwilling or unable to find directions. We should be able to get back there. You have not enough workers. Mining designations are messed up. It's a crap show because this is a game if you don't keep things tweaked then you could be creating a big mess and killing everybody on your island. But at this point, it looks like I've got plenty of food still. The only thing I have to do is get my crews working again. Let's see if this unloads. Look at that. Smooth as soap. And we've refilled our fuel. And almost empty. Look, there we go. We're back at it. All right, so we have a rudimentary train route going on. I will uh, probably fiddle with diesel trains later and uh, see how different that is. It, hopefully it works exactly the same because if they throw me any more curveballs, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. We are... Ha! Look at that. I'm surprised we don't have Superman running alongside of it. The truck racing the train. That's pretty cool. And let's see if we get a clean load this time. Okay, that that's the way it should look, I believe. There we go. Whatever was wrong that first time, maybe it was just uh, working out the kinks. All right. If you have any questions or anything that uh, you can help me with, or if there's anything you want me to help you with, just let me know in the comments. And uh, I'm going to uh, call it a vid so this doesn't go on too long. Thank you for bearing with me. I was making a how-to video when I just found out how to. So hopefully it's helpful for you, saves you a little bit of time. And together we will figure out this new patch because uh, this is an amazing game. I am not exactly sure how many hours I've got on it, but I bet it's in the hundreds. And uh, let's see, we will keep on rolling. And uh, thank you for joining me. Bye.